What are the things that you stop doing? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, beauties and curls. It is another maintenance Monday. Got a question for you guys. Have you stopped doing some things to your hair that you shouldn't have? Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you the top three things that I stopped doing in order for my hair to grow and grow at an immense rate. And we're going to start doing those things again, but we have to address it. Coming up. You know, we never leave our pick. Natural hair girls, we never leave our pick. So before we get started, I would love for you guys to be a part of the family over here. If you are into hair videos, into beauty reviews, then this is the place that you want to be. I am doing a hair growth challenge, length retention. I like to call it length retention because really in order for your hair to grow, you have to retain length. So it's the same thing, but retaining length means that I have to be intentional on retaining the length, not only my hair growing because your hair grows at a constant rate for the most part you can you know accelerate that with a few things but we want to like we want to retain length that means we want to reduce breakage and prevent breakage and we want to keep away from things that does not make our hair grow so in this video we're going to talk about the top three things that i stopped doing that i'm actually intentionally doing back again in 2019. So the first thing that I stopped doing was that protein moisture balance. It is so, so important. With high porosity hair, you have to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair enough with the deep conditioner, but at the same time, strengthening with the protein conditioner or the protein treatment. And I was not keeping up with that. Last year, I just fell off the mark. I was used to be really, really good with that, but I'm gonna have to put it back on my calendar I was doing a protein treatment followed with a deep conditioning treatment every other month, but I was deep, deep conditioning my hair every week and that worked really well. So I'm going to get back on that schedule. The second thing that I stopped doing was protective styling. I was doing a lot more protective styling, but I really got lazy and was doing wash and goes, which wash and goes don't work for my hair. I talked about that. I do have a video talking about why my hair does not like wash and goes and how to repair your hair. And so I just fell off the mark and just got lazy and was doing wash and goes. And wash and goes cause single strand knots. My hair dries out a lot quicker and it does not retain a lot of moisture in the wash and go state. That's just the truth of the matter. Before, what I was doing was I was wearing a wash and go for maybe about two days and then going and transitioning that into a twist out, which made my hair last longer. I did not wash my hair as much and wash, I just learned twist outs is the way to go for my natural hair. The stretch state of a twist out or a braid out allows my hair to not have those not as many single strand knots it wouldn't like tangle within itself and so the strand was very smooth and it helped separate the curl i hope that makes sense but i gotta get back to that and the third thing is that i was not moisturizing and sealing as much i used to moisturize and seal every night i would retwist my hair and i know it was a little bit more tedious but at least I can do that every other night. Those are the top three things that I stopped doing that I have to get back to. So I hope sharing this with you guys helps somebody out and I hope you get back to your routine of what really made your hair grow and thrive. Comment down below and let me know what you stopped doing that you should start doing again. And this is a great time to do it. New beginnings, new years are great for new starts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.